Hello my Sock Universe! We'll start this video a little bit differently as I want to show you how much I've embraced the Azzurri. I have, this is my regular windbreaker jacket of, of course from the 2014 World Cup where I even have, and these are my favorite jogging pants, the matching bottom of the tracksuit together with the, um, the, uh, the logo. I really love to wear these on a regular basis and I don't have a jersey that's why I put on the jacket but I want to show you what I have below before we actually get into the jerseys. I have also the t-shirt of World Cup when they won the World Cup with all the signatures right on there. So yeah, I think I'm properly dressed for this video. Why did I decide, let's go a little bit normal again. <laughs> Why did I decide to make a video on the Italian national team jerseys that I have? A, I have figured out that this is easily the one where I have the most. I have updated my national team jersey map and yeah, seven Italian jerseys more than any other nation. Uh, they were the first national team that I loved uh, and they are beside Austria of course, but you know, uh, not I honestly have to have to say Italy I enjoy a whole lot more than Austria in many ways and yeah uh, they are also the first jersey that I got you saw the story we'll look very briefly at this one again and in, in addition to that yesterday um, their birthday so I think it all points to us that and I wanted to make anyway another from my collection video I will go through these jerseys chronologically tell you a very quick story about this but not much more and you let me know what you think about them. So we'll start off with the very first one that I showed you already uh, last weekend. I just love it. It's the one from the 1990 World Cup. This is actually player issue. It doesn't have to sponsor. It has the flag right. Uh, absolute, absolute beauty on all accounts. Silky, shiny, everything. Uh, it is still my favorite jersey out there. This har harks back to a period where I really think national team jerseys were just simple and beautiful and it is enough. I think if your national team doesn't have any of the national, the colors of the national flag as your main color of, of, of the jersey, it should be mandatory to put flag trim. I absolutely would demand that. I know that the Dutch had this in 92. Uh, at the Euros uh, and uh, in 994 the World Cup as well. Um, this is what I want to see more often embraced again because it is just beautiful and it adds a little bit to an otherwise rather plain jersey. Uh, the crest, and we'll see a few styles here. I actually like this one, the circle crest, but it's not necessarily my favorite, but I, I would call this my second favorite um, out there. Good memories with that. Unfortunately, I do not have any of... The, I will have like the follow-up, which they went then all the way to the World Cup, Cup, Cup Final. That's that's uh, one of my holy grails in a way. Uh, I also don't have any of the Nike jerseys. A uh, hidden gem is the first Kappa jersey. That's not the one for Euro 2000. This was uh, issued in 99. Believe me, it's an absolute beauty. Uh, you should check it out and it's before the stretchy style. But I do have a Kappa jersey. It's not the one from Euro 2000, it's the one from the World Cup, 2002 World Cup, double XL. The story behind that one is also relatively simple. Um, I think it was early 2003, I went to a local sports store and they were selling this, double XL. I knew, it is a I knew this is of the tight stuff. I actually tried to see that, yes, it's a fully stretchy material. Uh, and they were selling off for rather cheap and I said, well... The other jersey at that point was already a little bit, you know, in the wash with with with, with my said it's time for new it Italy jersey. And although I never really liked the lighter blue color for Italy, it's a wonderful jersey, one that I was wearing a lot, and you can tell actually that I've been wearing it a lot here on the sides. Uh, this is rather worn out, let's put it that way, but uh, it's a it's a great jersey. I love to wear it. I wear it rarely these days because it's a little bit wor worn out, but uh, it's a classic. Unfortunately, Italy didn't do all that well in that one. But I really like this. For me, every Italy jersey should have just this. Yeah, yeah. Then in 
I know when Puma took over the first Puma jersey came out in 2003 had this weird uh, color which yeah I didn't care mu much about the one for Euro 2004 actually looked quite nice but everything was centered which is also not necessarily my favorite centered was also the name of the game for the 2006 jersey which I really didn't like because of all the navy blue accents I want my Italy jerseys have just a tad of white on there, just a tad. I mean, blue, but put a little bit of white, white, white on there. It was, it was a little bit too bold. Of course, they won the World Cup in that one. Then I wanted to have it and you couldn't get it anymore. Um, and then I found it online and I bought a fake that I showed you uh, not too long ago. And now it has been sold. Same story goes for the Euro 2008 away jersey, which I really liked. And I'm still looking out for a replacement for that one. Uh, but that you know, not uh, not currently. Currently, the sales are on, so I want to get more recent jerseys. But I will try to get that 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 one. Um, yeah, I have to say uh, that one was actually quite cool. But I have to say it's not the classic away jersey as well. Meanwhile, I have to say I really like the one in 2012, the white with the blue bar. That is the classic Italian away look some one of these days I will get one however speaking of 2012 that's the next Italy jersey that I have I didn't like necessarily the 2010 one with the robot or whatever graphic African graphic I also was not too sold on this one initially with this weird patterning on there and I really did not like the color to be honest but what I like this flag trim flag trim I think this looks better in blue and they put out then a commemorative jersey for the 1982 worker where, where they actually made this blue and this one looks a lot better than uh, this uh, than the, the, this one but I needed to get this one because they made it all, all the way to the final and I really got behind Italy in the World Cup and my favorite player of the team is number 21 Pirlo of course I hate this lettering style I never understood why Puma went with all lowercase letters but it is a really nice jersey and what I like this is you know, kind of a silicone crest, very uh, rubbery, very nice in many ways. Um, sh would be my go to Italy jersey if I wouldn't be af afraid that the lettering will eventually wear off. So, also not wearing it too much. And this has been the story with my Italy, jer uh, it Italy jersey. I've been wearing the 2002 one so often because. I, of all the others that, that I had, I was never really too comf com comfortable wearing it. I was always going for one. When do I finally get an Italy jersey, maybe without number, that I can wear regularly? Well, that came, I think, in 2016. I saw classic football shirts. This 2014 away, which is, of course, the one that goes with this jacket. This is a player issue, but it's not a tight version. And it is long sleeve. Serve the purpose long sleeve. I want to have a blue long sleeve jer jersey. Well, why not go with Italy? It's a really beautiful jersey and flag trim. Not much, but you know, at least we have some flag trim. We also have a little bit flag in there. And blue with the Italian flag, it always looks really, really nice. However, um, it's also not a regular jersey because how often can you wear long sleeves? Exactly, in winter you wear long sleeves. Um, Mm, I think it would look better without the white thing is but that was of course the template back then uh, what I really find interesting is that all this is printed on but it looks it is made in such a way that it looks stitched on that I have to say is my favorite feature the same thing goes for the Puma logo just look at it you can see a little bit the uh, uh, hint of a thread there what I don't like is that all these buttons here are non-functional all the buttons here don't do anything they're just sewn on and i got this as an uh did i get this xl yeah i got this xl i have to say the collar is rather white but it's fine uh on the back it's plain it's a really really nice jer uh, jersey i like to wear this a whole lot but again it's not a go to italy jersey so what to do 2016 didn't like the blue one 2018 they didn't quite qualify i liked it better but it was too generic um so yeah Fortunately, we have the current jerseys and now I have a whole set of Italy jerseys that I can actively wear and not worry about anything being damaged. We of course have a new crest here on the third jersey, which I got, which also initially I did not like, but I realize it is one of the most influential jerseys and really kickstarted this um, crafted by culture theme by Puma. And the idea is great, I just could not really look past the green. By the way, it's not the first third jersey for Italy. In 2004, uh, 
I think it was already Puma. They introduced one in Midnight Blue that they wore once in Iceland and duly lost, never to be seen again. It's a shame because I think uh, a dark blue it 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 the jersey makes a whole lot sense more sense than this green one. However, what the green one has historical precedent because the youth national teams for Italy used to play in green because in order to wear the Azzurri jersey, you needed to graduate through there. So in order, and since the current national team is so young, uh, it does make some sense. And I have to say, it is a beautiful jersey. It really is. Uh, it just, for me, it doesn't scream Italy. I wonder, wouldn't it look better if the crest was non-monochromatic? That's my only real complaint here but other than that i like you have here a little bit italian flag so yeah and also here on on the back i think you could have gone here with a full italy flag because it looks a little bit weird um but yeah i have to say when i got it i i liked it a whole lot that the back is just uh, a little bit darker green is maybe a little gray but it's a beautiful jersey and it set the tone for a really interesting collection we have the away jersey and that one I loved immediately. Uh, it is not a classic Italy look. However, on the white, the crest pops so nicely. Um, the patterning, uh, yeah, as someone told me it looks like a tablecloth. To be honest, I really like it. This, uh, I really like this. I think it's an Etruscan pattern. I really like, like it. And then even with the navy, yes, maybe I like the blue would do better. You know, uh, the azure blue. But it looks really nice and then worn with the dark dark blue pants it's a great looking uh jersey i was in love with this immediately and i knew this is probably the one italy jersey from this collection that i will surely get little did i know that i'm i'm crazy now i know because not only do i have the third and the away uh, you know already for christmas i got also the current home um this is now my go to italy jersey you know the one thing this color here I know it is very similar to the third jersey uh, in that it's navy or midnight blue. Um, keep it in normal blue. Uh, I'm not sure white I think would be too much, but um, a little bit flag trim on there. I think I would like like better than just having the navy accent. Do something, you know, here we have an it Italy flag. But it is really, 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 really nice. It is really nice. I have to say, the first time I saw it, I thought, oh, this is just the uh, Renaissance church, jersey in blue, a little bit boring. But now nah, there's this nice floral pattern on there. And yes, I understand. It's not very manly. It would be nice to get a nice plain Italy jersey again, like the one in 1990. But I have to say, for a modern in, 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 in interpretation and representing the rich cultural heritage that Italy has, this one is close to perfection. I was even thinking, but you know, uh, it's so expensive uh, to get the player version, which has a little bit more um, specifications there. But I have to say, I'm quite happy with this one too. It is beautiful and that's now my go to Italy jersey. And I'm finally happy that I have a few go to Italy jerseys that I can wear like uh, this and not go to the old jerseys that probably should not be worn anymore. So yeah, that's my Italy collection. As I told you, it's seven jer uh, jerseys. I had two more that were fakes that I have, have to so, uh, sell off. I probably will add more Italy jerseys. Italy is probably my favorite national team together with the Dutch um, and Argentina, but uh, I see more and more tilting towards Italy. And so happy birthday, Fiji G. And yeah, let, let me know what you thought about this Italy jersey. Let me know which Italy jerseys you have here in your collection. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.